the DJI Spark Charging Station. How well does it perform? All right, guys, so I got in the uh, charging station for the Spark. Uh, one reason I was uh, hesitant on buying it because I already have the charging hub. So I was kind of wondering how well this performs versus the normal hub. So I went ahead and picked one up, done some tests with it, so forth, so on. But what I wanted to go over with you, you know, was just a few things on charge times, this versus this, the hub versus the station. One great thing about the charging station is it's ready to go. I don't even have it plugged up. It has a built-in 5,000 milliamp. Uh, battery I think in it so uh, if I'm out flying which I don't do a lot of flying with the spark but this is just something in case if I fly somewhere and I want to charge the batteries off I'm ready to go right there without having to find somewhere to plug this in or anything like that so let's uh let's uh show you right quick you know pretty much it's very easy to get something in here you have spots for your three batteries let's stick down snap in I do not have it turned on right now your other craft, little spikes go down in there. So you're pretty much ready to go. lock it back. It'll start charging. These are already, of course, charged with all my green lights, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. You know, it's ready to go to charge right now. So I'll turn it back off. One of the main reasons I've done this video because there's not a lot of information on the time. You know, you can get this for roughly $50. And then this, of course, is like $89 to $129, depending on where you buy it. But one of the main points I wanted to go over with it was is some of the times. Using the stock three batteries in the charging hub, I done the first test at 40%. It took all three batteries 54 minutes to fully charge at 40%. So then I dropped them down to 30% and it shot up to 106 minutes. Then at 20%, which most of us fly down to, it took 119 minutes. So not terrible and everything. So then I decided to do the same test with the charging station. To full, by the way, to fully charge this charging station from zero to fully charged where it's ready to use without power is 46 minutes and 19 seconds. All right, now then when you stuck everything in it, this only charges one battery at a time, unlike this that charges them all three. However, this does not do too bad when using just it. So what took place is at 40% in this, it took an hour and 45 minutes, which is a quite a bit longer than the 54 minutes it took using the hub. Then at 30%, it was an hour and 58 minutes versus an hour and six minutes with the hub. Then on the station with it down to 20%, it took two hours and 12 minutes versus 119 minutes, roughly two hours, on the hub which you know is roughly 13 minutes difference not a lot but again this is for portability so you can use it outside the home if you're down the road whatever and you just don't want have more to plug in so other than that you know from what little i've used it and charged it up pretty nice especially if i just want to take it with me have it in my backpack or something so if you have any questions about either one of these products please leave it in the notes and i will answer the questions as soon as i can thank you for watching